So, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Uh, for me, I believe it is about 20 past 6, possibly more quarter past. And I am off to Conkers, specifically the waterside at Conkers. Uh, the purpose of this one, this is not a uh, trip with any real, well it is on purpose to go down and uh, see a few people I haven't seen in a while. Um, I did go down last week as well, but uh, one of the people that I actually went down to see wasn't there, he was on holiday, so but fuck it, let's go tonight. Uh, it's a Friday night, so there's fuck all on TV. And why not? Now, if you know the area, I always seem to say this if you know the area, this is not the most direct route. Um, the reason for going this way is straightforwardly put speed bumps. Because there's a hot ton of them. And so the high street village I live in, there's 13 I think I counted a while ago. And there's two of them rubber ones in the next strip. Fucking impatient shit. Fucking 50 down here, love. See, slow down. So I've come this way to avoid them, because obviously rubber rubber based speed bumps are horrible, especially in the wet. And that is going to be the topic of this video, the wet, and riding in the wet, stroking the rain. Now, I've been on the road about two and a half years, and that is two and a half years straight, with probably only two weeks off the bike obviously i take a week's holiday once a year so yeah two and a half years minus two weeks so i ride wind rain snow storm whatever i'm out here and uh, there's a forum post on is it motovlog.com uh, I think that's the name of the forum. They were talking about riding all year round, which I do. Uh, and I was obviously responding to that, and I can't remember if this was a uh, separate post within itself, or if it was a um, follow-on from that, and that is uh, the rain, and uh, I'm sure I commented on it, but I may not have, we never, I never know, so that's what I thought I'd make this video on, uh, so sort of the uh, little bits of uh, tips for riding in the rain, and I have made this video twice today already but each time it was way too long so I'm going for a third time to try and condense it and if not I'll go, I'll go back the other way which I know takes me 10 minutes so we'll be there but nevertheless so one of the things I do or one of the things I recommend is waterproof clothing now nothing is a hundred percent waterproof because let's face it, that's impossible. It's more of how long the water will stay out. Now I've been riding virtually the same gear for two and a half years. Uh, I've changed it, but it's basically the exact same model of gear. So I just enjoyed it that much. And uh, one thing I've found myself having to do a couple of times is just respray it with waterproof spray from the camping shop. Like five pounds for a 500 mil can, it's an aerosol, boom, job done. Now obviously that's still not going to make it 100% waterproof, you're going to have to go back to it. But it's like five quid, like I say, so it's fairly cheap, so you don't mind. 
The other thing is just thinking ahead, which is common sense. But uh, what I mean by that is just knowing that, of course, your stopping distances are going to increase, as it does with a car. Uh, and you will be prone to locking and skidding the back end, which is, you watch my video uh, where I laid this bike down, uh, you will know, or you will see from the video, that I wrestled with the bars. They did lock from left, from left to right, and then back to left again. So yeah, just be, try not to be too harsh on the brake. Obviously one way not being too harsh on the brake is to slow down. Uh, yeah, the speed limit's there, but that's pretty much for when it's dry. So, and uh, obviously distances don't tail the car. So don't ride up the back end of somebody, obviously, because it's ultimately never going to end well. You will end up in the back of him. Uh, waterproof gear, I've said, common sense. And that's it. I mean, I don't do a lot differently. I don't... This bike doesn't have any computers put into rain mode like some of the uh, bigger and more expensive bikes. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, mainly because I'm here. And I think that should make a decent enough length of video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.